Hello and welcome to another gauge demo from FIPGAUGES.COM Today we are looking at the helicopter hover gauge So let's jump right in Now the S buttons, we'll start there first uh, On this particular gauge we're not using the S buttons So you're free to program those in SPAD.NEXT to do whatever you like Okay so let's jump on to the, the menu Now like most of my gauges uh, the location of the menu control is indicated by the blue LED and the nearest control being the right dial. So we'll spin the right dial and the menu will pop up. First option in the menu is instructions. Now if I turn the left dial the instruction page will pop up and it'll tell you what the other menu options do. We turn that off with the left dial. With the right dial we'll switch to the next function which is side buttons and then we'll turn the side buttons on with the left dial. Now I have a separate tutorial for the side buttons and labeling, so please check that out. I won't cover that here right now. Okay, so we'll turn that off for now. And then we'll go to the next option, which is the needle color. Okay, so using the left dial, we can scroll through a different selection of needle colors. And we have five. So we have the white, the yellow, the red, the green, and the white. So it's basically personal preferences as to which color you'd like. Okay so that concludes the buttons and the menu part of this tutorial. So now I'm going to show you the gauge actually working. Um, so at the moment I'm sitting on the ground. Um, my ground light is set to green to indicate that I'm on the ground. My vertical and horizontal LEDs are lit. They indicate that I'm um, not moving at all um, and my needles are all pretty much centered so let's whack up the collective and you'll see that uh, the ground light will go out as soon as I'm off the ground okay up we go say so I'm off the ground and the ground light has gone out now I'm going to climb a tad and you can see the vertical indicator is going up very quick and if I suddenly start to drop that very quickly you'll see that the ground warning light comes on and it's saying well slow down you're going way too fast heading towards the ground not a good idea so um, you can now see that I am currently traveling backwards and slightly to the right so this is telling me that I need to correct now the little white arrows is an indicator of the direction you need to be moving to correct your uh, horizontal movement so I'm just going to try and center this as best I can and then we're going to bring her down very slowly so I'm now pretty much in a stable hover well it was just a moment ago very difficult doing this with a yoke with one hand and here we go I'm just going to drop her down now I'm descending a little bit too fast but I'm a few feet away from the ground so just before I get there I'm going to ease up on the collective and that should correct my ground warning there we go and I'm just going to pop her on the ground pull her back a fraction and I'm down there we go so you can see the needles will move and give you an indication of the direction you need to correct and uh, when the needles cross through the middle you're hovering dead center and the vertical guide gives you an indication of how fast you are sending and descending as well okay so I hope you found that very useful uh, if you haven't already subscribed please do so and come back and check out more of our videos thank you 